Hey guys, it's Khadija with This Is Army.com. And our next guest can be seen everywhere from the stage to the screen and to any concert venue out there right now. A mogul in the making, Ro Timmy, welcome. Hey, what's going on? How you guys doing? We're well, we're well. First of all, you know, congratulations on with to you and Butterscotch. You know, you're an <laughs> actor, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, and a hands-on dad. Yeah. How has that transition been for you? Uh, you know, for me, it's been honestly seamless, you yeah. know, and because I'm very passionate about everything that I like, I pay attention to, I love. So for me, music, entertainment, TV, fatherhood, you know, family, all of that is like passion for me. So it never really feels like work. So it always just feels like I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I have amazing people to do it with. So it never feels like a hassle, you know, and so whether it's business meetings, whether it's on stage, whether it's TV, whether it's changing a diaper, whatever it is, like I'm yeah. all in, you know, and I give my heart to it. So it doesn't really feel like, I thought it would be a lot harder, but it feels like it's a natural, seamless transition. It is, I would agree. I'm a mother of two and I, I know that it's like nervous in the beginning, especially, yeah. you know, being a first time dad and first yeah. time mom, um, yeah. but it, you kind of just, go into it right you just go it's into like a it natural just, progression yeah you just trust your instincts you know and for me it's always been about trusting my instincts and so like it's no different with fatherhood it's literally just trusting whatever feels right awesome awesome great advice for up and coming dad new time dads out there <laughs> and congratulations on recently completing your first headlining sold out tour yes thank yes. you yes thank yes you. congratulations you. on that yeah and thank you know you. we know it had to be rescheduled due to the pandemic but how was the tour and how was everything was it everything you imagined it would be yeah, you know, the good parts of the tour was everything I imagined and the bad parts of the tour was not what I imagined. No, but it was, <laughs> okay. um, it was, it was a lot of work, man, you know, and I, again, I did it with so many dope people, like talented musicians, and then my team was on it. But you know, a lot of things you can't control on the road, you know, and right. so you just have to really be able to, to audible and figure things out on the go. And for a lot of us, it was our first time. So midway through the tour is when everything really started clicking with us. But the shows were amazing, going overseas and knowing, like seeing that everyone in the crowd was singing word for word for even places where they didn't even speak English. Yeah. It was just like, man, like the power of music is so beautiful. And so being able to affect people that way for, for a month and a half all over the world was so beautiful, man. And um, I can't wait to do it again. Like, and I, I didn't realize, I realized that some of my songs were new favorites of mine that I didn't even know, like, yeah. were new favorites of theirs, you know? And so it was dope. It was a really dope experience. Awesome, yeah. So let's talk about your humble beginnings and fast forward to now gracing the scene. Um, you know, how does it feel to hear, one, people singing yeah. the lyrics to all of your songs and people saying like, oh, you were my favorite character on this or you yeah. know, different things like that. How does it feel in realizing all those blessings that, cause I know you're religious and I, yeah. I heard one of your interviews where you talked about kind of like it was just destined for your life. So how does that feel? Um, Again, I feel like I'm walking in my purpose, you know, and like as an entertainer, you just want to make sure you affect people. You know, you want to yeah. take people out of their reality. You want people to just either feel it, whatever emotion you want them to feel, and you hit that and let people escape for however long it is, you're doing your job as entertainer, you know? And so when see people say, yo, I love, I love you on this show, I love you on this movie, I love you on this song, it's like, yes, I'm living my purpose, you know? And I'm, I'm making sure that people are able to just vibe and grow with me, you know, like as a, as a person and as a talent, you know? And so, even like skincare, like my skincare line as well. Like people are saying, man, like using your product, my skin, my glow is different. My confidence is better. Yeah. So even like that, those type of things all feel really, really fulfilling as a, as an entrepreneur and as a musician. So it's, it's really dope, man. And, um, and we're just getting started. That's the cool thing about it, you know, and, and I take this time to really challenge myself as, as a creative, as you hear, it pushes you more like, Oh, are they really vibing with this? Okay, you gotta do it again. You gotta do it again, you know? And so 
it becomes a, a lifestyle for sure. Yeah, and I know that you had in another interview I saw of yours where you had talked about your parents, you know, being Nigerian and how yeah. it's kind of predestined of your life career choices yes. <laughs> and yes. in life. And your mom had a dream of yes. that you were going to be an entertainer and that if yeah. you came out and you were like, I'm going to do this, yeah. that she was going to support you. And they did. Yeah. So what was that... Um, experience how did you stay motivated i should say mm. once you finished college and mm. they said they give you the year that yeah. they would support you and yeah. when that clock was ticking and you were approaching that year yeah. how, how did you stay motivated like okay i can't give up like how what was in your mind what was the mindset that you had well the mindset that i had was it's literally which is so funny it's literally all or nothing you mm. know and that was the first time I felt like my back was truly against the wall and like adulthood had hit me. Yeah. Like you have no outs, you don't have a job. All you have is this dream, bro. Like, and you are like at month eight and you have four months before you gotta really take away your focus from this and now kind of split it with a regular job. Right. Or now go use your degree, you know, or like, so it became, all right. And I work best and you learn so much about yourself when there's pressure. Like you learn so much, you either sink or swim. And so for me, it was like, I, I refuse to fail and I refuse. And so if music was taking a little longer at that time, it was like, all right, what else can I do? I'm usually comfortable in front of a camera for a music video. Let's see if I can get a commercial. So went in and ended up booking um, my first audition, which was a TV show called Boss. So I ended up booking that went in for a commercial ended up coming out with a series regular role and so i think for me it was just realizing i right, i can't fail you gotta go hard this is your dream no one's gonna work harder than you for your own dream so you gotta go crazy and it went into you had uh, 120 days bro to change your life that's right. a lot of pressure on you a lot you, you gotta do it and and who knows if it could if they would have gone i don't know my dad would have been like nah you get another year whatever but like <laughs> hell no he wouldn't have done that <laughs> but <laughs> i'm sorry well, i can't think good good thing was, you didn't have to go down that road thank god thank god we never went there but <laughs> but no like you have 120 days you gotta lock in and you know chip away at it every single day man so at that point in time i was in the studio every day i was learning lines every day i was you know just figuring it all out and i think that was like sink or swim time for me and you swam i swam, Boy, did you, swam. <laughs> you got it yeah, um yeah. And so what advice would you give to up and coming artists that are mm. starting to get some traction and starting to get some cash flow you know yeah. i'm yeah. stunting and whatnot what yeah. are some like top three things that you think they should look out for or maybe that they should do? As an as a new artist, one, keep your circle small. Mm -hmm. We get too caught up with, I wanna show off to everybody that I'm popping. These people don't care about you. They care about what you do. They don't care about you. So you end up spending and doing things that are out of character, right? So one, keep your circle small with people that you genuinely love, that genuinely love you, and a team that works as hard as you and wants the same gift, the dream and gifts that you want. Two, I'd say invest your money as fast as you can. All the jewelry, all these things, the luxuries after you set yourself up for the long run. And most artists don't get deals where they're protected while their deal is going on. So you gotta base yourself on show money but you only get show money and, and opportunities if you have right. a hit record right so that's not even guaranteed the only thing guaranteed is your upfront bonus if that's what you do so if you do a deal and, you, and you're on take that money get investments buy property buy something quick like that that is residual money and third just you gotta go crazy on your craft like this is what got you here you know like any like how an athlete would be where it's like, we got our deal, but you got to go crazy in the gym now. You got to now spend all your time on in producing or right. writing or right. practicing your stage performance or everything becomes your job now. You're being paid good money to do a job, you know? And so 
I think just stay focused is the fourth, and 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 those are the those are the things I'd give to somebody. Absolutely, and those were all gems, and that can kind of translate in any industry. Anything, exactly. Definitely, definitely gems from someone who has been there, who's in it, he's doing it. Mm. And since you mentioned residuals, let's just okay. talk about your acting really quickly. <laughs> okay. um, how it was really never on your radar, but when the opportunity knocked, you jumped right in. Yeah. What is like your ideal role now that you've made a splash in the industry? Uh, I think for me doing like a really cool romantic comedy, or romantic drama would be really dope. I think you wanna. I've, I've tugged at heartstrings in a in a crazy in a crazy way on yeah. one side. Mm -hmm. I wanna be. I wanna be loved on the other side. You know? <laughs> okay. I wanna feel a little love. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I think something really cool, like a really light romantic comedy, romantic drama would be fly, and definitely Marvel. Um, yeah. Definitely get into this, you know. Uh, military movie or something you know action action figure type of thing so yeah i, I i'm open to a lot of different things man i feel like uh by, by, when it's all said and done i, I, I would have touched everything that i, I desired yes sure. what yeah. marvel character Ooh, i don't think he's been made he's been made but i don't think he's been like put to light yet i think it's one of them ones that they're gonna be like this is the new one that came out it's of the new world. one we pulled yeah. it out Full yeah. months great, and you like, girl, exactly. I'm here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like probably from like the old comic books. Yeah. But like now, you know, something else. So something we don't know. He hasn't. He hasn't. We haven't seen him yet. All right, we speaking it into existence, and I love it. I love it. Has your acting background? Have you been able to channel some of those techniques in your musical performances? Yeah, I definitely have. You know, when you're on stage, you're giving a performance. It's all performance, all art, right? And right. you have to figure out how to be engaging. So certain songs, certain moves, certain feelings, certain jokes, certain things, you give people a full experience where they laugh and dance and emotional, loving, you know? And so all of that theater, you know, has been brought to the stage, you know, it becomes a one man show. Like for my tour, I was doing an hour and 30 minutes every night, you know, just me and my DJ, you know, and, and a band, but it was a one man show. And so that builds your confidence for now when you're in front of a camera, you know, and vice versa. So it was been, it's been really, really dope. Really, really dope, man. Nice, nice. So let's talk about your new sizzling single, Throwback yes, yes. and Ladies. If you haven't seen it already, check it out. He's showing all his gigs when he's been working out at the gym. <laughs> yes, um, yes. So what was the inspiration behind the single? And let's talk about some of the beautiful, like art kind of that you have painted on the women. Um, yeah. Was it a tribute to being Nigerian? Like, let yeah. us in on So I wanted to do a music video where it was like, like the 1990s video where like yeah. early 2000s where it wasn't it wasn't simplicity was better where it was just an artist in a white background and right. then, you know, one room but you're getting different energies from different things you know and so i wanted to do something like that and i wanted to do something where glow in the dark paint where it was just showing homage to africa you know and the beauty of africa and and um keep it simple but and make the song the forefront of, of, of the video, you know? And so doing a record like that, I'm at the point where, you know, I was like, yo, it's summertime. And I went through it and had conversations with my team about it. And I was like, we have so many different ways we can go in terms of records. And I was like, yo, it makes the most sense to just come out with something fun, you know? You know me for the cool, sexy ballads and, you know, vibey vibes. I was like, All right, yeah, we can do that any time of the year, but it's summertime, man. Like, let's give them something to like dance to and just a global record that it just feels natural, you know? And um, throwback is that, it's that it's a, it's a homage to um, Afro, homage to reggae, homage to R&B all at the same time. And, and, and even down South, you know? And so like, it's just a cool energy, a gumbo of good music and the video shows that as well. Yes, it does. And definitely how you said the throwback 90s vibe, yeah. <laughs> especially, yeah. I mean, not the dancing so much, but yeah. when it's like you and the guys together, I was yeah. like, oh yeah. my gosh, 
this feels so old, but I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people really aren't, artists aren't doing that these days. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. They're exactly. starting to tap back into the music like yeah. Beyonce and Drake just recently did, but um, yeah. not necessarily yeah. the videos. So. Yeah, it, it's about having fun, man. Yeah. Like, like, it's so easy to get caught up in the business side of this and you forget that the art suffers, you know? And so like, for me, it's like, man, just have fun. Don't think about nothing. Unapologetically, just do what you feel is cool, man. And you did just that. Yeah. So let's talk about that skincare line. You probably yeah. were using that while you were on set, ladies. Oh, yeah. Oh, out. yeah. Talk, tell us about Favor and yeah. how did it come about? And were yeah. you ever thinking about that? Like, okay. you just have a skincare line? We need the deets. <laughs> okay, I got all of it right now for you. So it started in 2017 when I introduced the world to Mr. Sexy Nigerian Butterscotch, right? Mm -hmm. And so Mr. Butterscotch took on his own personality and a lot of different skincare companies started coming up to me because I was using a face mask. And so I was like, oh, wow, like there's actual uh, market for this, you know? And so I was like, all right, well, cool, cool. Nah, nah, I don't really want to work with them. Oh, that's dope. That's black owned, but mm, yeah, I should do it myself. That's what, yeah. it, that was always my thing. It was like, let me do it myself. I didn't know where to start with it, but it was always an idea of mine. And I started using other products during the, during the pandemic and it started breaking me out. Like, and, and it was just a lot of other people's things were breaking me out. And I was like, okay, man, it's not right. So this is how God works. So I get a call, my team gets a call from this company in Israel, who's also partnered with uh, the Hilfiger family. It's like Tommy Hilfiger, the oh, and okay. Amy Hilfiger, yeah. all the Hilfigers. So the Hilfiger family, so they have been seeing a lot of my, my, my videos and, and saw how much, you know, not necessarily, I wasn't trying to pr uh, uh, promote skincare, but like <laughs> it is promoting skincare, right? <laughs> right, right. Yes. So they were like, we, well, there's, a, there's a market for this. And I was like, we have to do it where, because I pride myself on just being myself and everything authentic and genuine. I don't want no, I don't want any preservatives. I want it to be natural, like all natural that both men and women can use. And they're like, that's what we think. And that's what we envision for you. So they have, so with favor, all of the minerals are from the Dead Sea mm. in Israel. So, and if you don't know, Israel, the Dead Sea, the the the, the material, the, the minerals in it is all healing. So people go all around the world, come all around the world to Israel to go to the Dead Sea to heal psoriasis and all type of different skin cancers and skin ailments. I was like, this is perfect. So we did that. They were like, what name do you want it to be? I said, I want to call it Favor. Let's make it, but to take out the O so it could just be F-A-B-R <laughs> so it sound French or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Favor, yeah. So I was like, yo, so let's, let's, let's do that. And again, man, it's been out for three weeks and our numbers are doing incredible. Um, and people are already giving testimonies already. Like I already bought two, three more. Um, I love what it's doing to my face and my glow and everything for in, in a week and a half time, you know, so definitely go get it, man. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Favorskin.com, F-A-B-R skin.com. Get yours. It's all natural, 95% all natural. And the minerals are all from the Dead Sea. Yes, all healing. And, you know, all we healing. do our Instagram lives once a month. So we would love if you would join us and, Absolutely. you know, maybe give a set away. Oh, yeah, awesome. that would be dope. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's yes, do it. absolutely. And so I wanted to know, kind of circling back to your acting and ideal yeah. roles, yeah. are you writing? Are you thinking about maybe producing and directing some films or? Yeah, TV? it's so funny. So during the pandemic, man, I know it was a, it was a very hard time for a lot of people. Right. But. I took it upon myself to do things I didn't have time to do before. Right. So I ended up writing a short film and and it's a romantic drama. Um, and that's when I was like, oh man, I definitely want to start doing this more. So really talk, literally talked to a production company today about it. Look at and, that. Um, we, that's what I'm saying, this is crazy. So now it's for me, it's like, all right, let's get into that world. I'll be the lead in it, we'll put a dope cast on it and just, get it moving, you know? And so 
again, during this time, man, I feel like it's our time to just take over anything we want. You know, if you want it, just go do it. And and I think the resources are all there to make it happen. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So yes, I would definitely be in, in involved in a lot of writing and producing as well as acting. Awesome, awesome. And if you need castmates, we over yeah. here. Hey. We went to school for theater, so I'm hey. playing. Okay, all right, all not right. Be. Hey, come on now, <laughs> come on. Anything's possible. Let's Anything's possible. So yeah. what are we, you know, what are you looking forward to doing now? Uh, number one, fatherhood is fun, you know. Um, he's crawling now, saying dada, you know, so it's like, that's crazy. So fatherhood for sure was one. Um, and, and again, just continue to make great content, you know. Uh, I feel like I'm still very much underrated in all that I do. And again, you don't do it for that, but it's, I use that as a driving force to consistently just be consistent and extraordinary, you know, and make sure everything I do is extraordinary. So like, I carry that chip, you know, and so, Make sure the art is amazing, be a great father, and consistently be a businessman and, and take it up a notch with that as well. Absolutely. And I love what you said, how you use um, being underrated, you know, yeah. as motivation to keep you going. Because some people can get kind of in their feelings about things like that, wanting the recognition and all the accolades. And it's like, are you doing it for the accolades? Or are you doing it for the art? And, um, the art, yeah putting it out there for the world. And yes, those things definitely will come. But um, it's great that you have a great uh, mindset of it all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know sure. you. Let the yeah. people know where they can find you. Well, you can find me everything, wrote Timmy. Um, the new single, Throwback, is out. It's a great summer vibe. Play it at, on the boat, on the beach, wherever you want. Throwback video is also out. And Favor Skin, my skincare line is available at favorskin.com, F A V R skin.com, and on um, Instagram, F A V R skin on Instagram. So check that out. And yeah, we got a lot more movies, music, and TV, and all type of stuff coming. Awesome. Awesome. It's been a pleasure, guys. Make sure you check him out. Many blessings to you and your family. And uh, we'll see you next time on thisisrmb.com. Yes, yes. I love it. <laughs>